Yo, what's popping, everybody? It's S Relics or Mikey here, and today I'm bringing you guys the jersey swap tutorial that I promised you two weeks ago because I hit 10,000 followers, and here it is. So, uh, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. I don't want to waste your guys' time. I want to keep this tutorial simple and sweet. But before everything, I just want to say thank you for the support that you guys have given me in the last two weeks. I've almost hit 18,000 followers. That's 8,000 followers in two weeks. Let's just get started. Uh, recently, Kawhi Leonard got traded to the Raptors for DeMar DeRozan. You guys all know that. So as you guys can see, I've got a picture of Kawhi Leonard pulled up. I want to do a full body swap for the purpose of this video because the full a full body swap is really what the hardest type of swaps are gonna be so along with my Kawhi Leonard picture I have two Raptors pictures one both of them have Lowry and DeRozan in it and the reason why I have these is because for this jersey swap what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the details off of DeRozan and Lowry like the uh, the sleeves the collar the Raptors word mark and yeah so so I'll be showing you guys the top method of doing a jersey swap and this is actually a really easy method as well so the first step to every jersey swap i do is masking the player so as you can see i've masked out Kawhi leonard in this picture before the video started because i'm not going to show you things that you already know how to do because you guys know how to mask you guys may not know how to do a, a good jersey swap so after i mask the player what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be clearing all the details off of the jersey that means i'm going to be clearing the spurs logo out the number out and also the side stripes because as you can see on the raptors jersey they don't really have a side stripe what they have instead is they just have the same color as the body of the jersey along with two little arrowheads that kind of stick up which i'm going to be putting right here it's going to show a bit here it's not going to show here because this side of the jersey is covered by the body of it because he's tilting forwards to the right side so it's not going to show a lot of jersey swapping is logic like what you're going to see in an actual picture what you're not going to see but without any further ado let's get started with clearing out the jersey so what i'm going to be using for this is the clone stamp tool if you're not familiar with it it looks like this what you're going to want to do is alt clicks on a different point of the jersey where you're trying to get the details from and for this i'm getting it from the middle so the dots the little texture here stays the same and uh the way that i do jersey swaps i do it so i can maintain most of the texture as possible so it's as close to the original creases and stuff because in his position you know these this crease right here this crease right here all these creases are what you're gonna see so that's what i really try to maintain it keeps my jerseys high quality so we just cleared out the number right there now we just got to clear out the spurs logo and then we're going to get into the spicy stuff now one thing you'll notice about Kawhi's jersey is it's already white so that actually saves me a lot of time because if it wasn't white let's say it was blue what i would have to do is i would basically mask out the whole jersey and clear it all out like i'm doing right now but what i do after that is i take a hue and saturation layer I'd lower the saturation all the way so it went from blue to like gray and then I go to a camera roll filter and then I turn the exposure all the way up and guys if you want to change from let's say black to gray all you have to do is turn the exposure all the way up let me just show you guys a demo of let's say you want to change this black part to white what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the exposure layer clip it onto this and this is if you have a black jersey you're just going to take the exposure all the way up and it turns white or what you could also do alternatively is just invert colors and it also turns white you can do either one just whatever works the best and whatever looks the best but anyway since we got a white jersey here that i just cleared out we don't have to do any of the fancy color changing steps all of the jersey swaps that i do involve me taking a color lowering the saturation turning it to white because white is the base color for color matching because if you want to match to this exact color your base jersey has to be white so make sure you have it as that but again uh i picked a good picture where i don't have to do that so i'll just show you guys from this step if you have any questions with how to change like a blue jersey to white just dm me i'll help you guys out i love helping you guys because you support me and i just want to give back to all of you so the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to change the white stripes on the side here uh not the white stripes but like the black and gray stripes that you guys can see here we're going to change it all the way to white because that's what i want to do 
basically clearing the same way that we cleared the number and the logo out is the same way that we're clearing the stripes out here so let's take this black Now that we've got all of these set up, we're just gonna take the clone stamp tool right here. Alt click on the white and then just go all the way over it. Now what this what what is what this is doing, the reason I selected it is because I don't want it to go outside the player. But as you guys can see, we're almost done with whiting out the sides of the jersey and then we're going to do some touching up afterwards just to touch up the, the differences between the selection and the body of the jersey. And there we go. Control zero. Oh, we forgot that little area. We don't want to leave any spots out. So let's just quickly clone stamp this area and control D. So now let's, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blend it all in. We're just gonna clone stamp normally. So like these areas right here. Kawhi's jersey is completely whited out with all of the texture still there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change colors. And now how we're gonna change colors here is we're literally gonna select the whole jersey, not including the stripes. So we're just gonna use the lasso tool, whatever selection tool you guys prefer to select the whole entire jersey there we go so now what we're gonna do we're gonna control c control v copy the jersey make sure move it up a bit so it matches up with this and there we go we're gonna name this layer jersey so now what we're gonna do is we're going to get a color sample from this. We're gonna get color sample so the jersey color matches up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a color fill layer and we're gonna make it the color of the Raptors jersey. We're gonna clip it to this. Now, as you can see, if it was just this, it wouldn't have any texture. So basically, now that you have this color layer, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna change the blending mode to multiply and look at what magic this does. Bang. So now you guys can see that you can see the original texture and all of this, it matches the color of the Raptors jersey right here. And if you close it, it, it literally changes the color of the jersey. So that's just the basics of changing the color. If you wanna make it darker, what you can do is you can add a levels layer, clip it onto the jersey as well, and move it to the right and it'll make it darker. Like as you can see, we're gonna make ours a bit darker so you can see more of the texture. Um, maybe like, like right here. This is a really vibrant red and it matches the red of this as you can see. So now we have got the jersey color. And if you guys aren't following, you can feel free to just stop the video anytime you want. We're gonna make a layer, uh, we're gonna make a group called Kawhi Swap. Just so you can see the progress so far, like this crispy color swap. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna add all the details on now that we've changed the color. So on the Raptors jersey, they have the word mark, the sponsor, the Nike logo, and the sleeves. So uh, first of all, let's get the sleeve while we're here. I'm gonna actually take the sleeve from Lowry because he has a pretty clear sleeve right here. So we're literally just gonna copy the collar onto Kawhi and then we're gonna warp it to how he is on the position right. so now that we've got the collar we're gonna control C control V we're gonna drag it over to here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the collar move it up uh, let's put it under the layer here and we're gonna enlarge it so it fits the size and then we're gonna move it so it replaces this collar right here. So I think that looks like about a good size. Control plus. And we're just gonna use the warp tool. Let's lower the opacity a bit. And then we're gonna use edit transform warp. And then we're gonna warp this collar onto him. Warp. 
over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the opacity. Uh, we're gonna filter other uh, filter liquify. And then we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna zoom in onto this, and then we're gonna just shift it over. There we go. So if you zoom out, it looks pretty legit. The color looks pretty legit, um, comparing it to the original, except for the little edge there. But it's okay because like that looks like it's just tight to the jersey, and that's okay. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sides. So to add the sides, we're gonna do the same thing. There we go. Control C, Control V. Oh, we did not control C the right place. Control C, control V. Uh, going back to the swap, taking this here and putting it in front. So now that this is here, we want to match it to this and we're going to match it to this. So let's duplicate this and rotate and uh, flip it horizontally so we can match it to both places. Let's match it to this one first because this one's going to be a bit easier. All right guys, so there we go. If we zoom out, this is what our swap looks like so far. The sleeves took a while, so I just kind of sped through them. But it's looking pretty good so far. We got the collar, the sleeves, the, the uh, jersey base. And now what we gotta do is we gotta work on the details of the actual jersey, which is the Raptors word mark and the Nike logo. So first of all, let's go grab the Nike logo. So now we've got the Nike logo here. We're gonna drag it on and we're gonna change the color to white. Change the color to white and let's see. So it's in between. So here it's gonna be, it's gonna be up here. In the top left corner. You gotta make sure you guys copy every detail that's on the jersey, copy it. And so there we go. So now we got the Nike logo in. What we're also gonna need is we're gonna need the Sun Life. That I, you know, I think I can just, I think I can probably just even copy it from here. I can just copy like this. Now we've got the Nike logo on the shorts. Let's move it down a bit more. All right, guys, so I'm gonna change one thing real quick. I'm actually gonna um, fix up this little stripe over here. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm just gonna duplicate this, um, transform it and flip it horizontally. And then we're just gonna mold it onto the sleeve right here. Now we have everything, we have the Nike logos, we have the Sun Life, we have the stripes. What we're missing now is we're missing the Raptors word mark. So the next step to this jersey is to grab the Raptors wording from right here and warp it onto there. So what we're just gonna do, we're gonna take the selection tool here, select here, select.
All right, now that we've got this, we're just gonna select it and make the edges a bit sharper, um, like so. Let's just Control C, Control V, and move it onto the jersey right here. So Raptors, now we're just gonna align it. We're just going to align the wording so it matches the jersey here. And that looks about that looks about good guys. If you compare it to this jersey, um if you compare it to this jersey, this looks about accurate and it looks pretty legit to me. So now all we gotta do, we gotta add numbers and then we gotta add the side little things. Let's add the side arrows first. What we're gonna do for the side arrows, we're gonna select and as I said earlier, the arrows that are gonna show are gonna be on this side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reveal the original layer and we're going to kind of warp it gonna warp it so it really only shows um, another detail that we need to add is we're gonna need to add let's see is there anything on the shorts and oh we need to add the little maple leaf in the on the belt right there so let's go add that real quick detail stays and there we go so the maple leaf is right there right now um, I'm gonna change the color overlay I'm gonna add a little color overlay so it's white and let's lower the opacity so it maintains a bit of the original texture <coughs> So, the maple leaf is going to go below the strings here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask out the strings in the jersey so it goes over. So we're going to go back to the jersey layer, we're going to take the polygonal lasso, we're just going to select. Got the maple leaf. And the next thing is we have to add the number. Now Kawhi Leonard's number is number two, so we're gonna tr we're gonna uh, grab someone who's number two in the Raptors. So let's just look at the Raptors roster real quick. And this is how I'm gonna find the uh, player that has a number that matches it. So let's go to Toronto Raptors team roster the numbers. I'm not very familiar with their roster, so. Anyways guys, look at look at our swap so far. It's looking pretty solid, pretty realistic. If you compare it to this, everything is just spot on, including the Nike, uh, the stripes, the everything. So now we're gonna go to here and it looks like a uh, number uh Malot Norman Paul Powell. We can just oh actually we can get Fred Van Fleet. There's gonna be more pictures of him. Alright, so guys, we're gonna save this image and then grab his number. Here we go. Here's Fred Van Fleet's jersey. Now what we're gonna do, really easy, we're just gonna select the numbers. Control C can oh we don't even need the three, I'm kinda dumb. We just need the two and then control C control V. We're gonna drag the number over to the Raptors jersey. Uh, just move it to the top and then we're gonna place the number right where it should be and guys now all we're gonna do is just adjust it to make sure it looks good it's all about your eye what looks right let's zoom out and if I if I mean in my eyes it looks pretty accurate to me if you compare this with this it looks like a pretty accurate jersey swap to me i'm just seeing if we missed any details so there's like a side stripe because it does show here so we can because as you guys can see here there's a there's a kind of a thin black stripe so what we can do is we can mask it from the original uh picture right here There it is guys, now we're just gonna copy and paste it. The black stripes on the side, move it up, turn this on. And now you guys can see the black stripe on the side 
that indeed matches the stripe right here um it looks like a pretty complete jersey swap now guys if you guys want to change the color of the shoe all you got to do is you got to select this part you go to control u press colorize and then like if you want to change it to red you change it to red you boost the saturation up so 360 48 changes it to red if you want it to be like a black you can just turn this to, uh if you want it to be like a different color like a green you can do that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just change this color to red right here like kind of a faded red so let's say 360 445 right there and then we're gonna just change this part of the shoe as well red jersey the shoes are really optional most people don't even care if you're doing like a design with it but if you want to be thorough with it that's what you can do but yeah guys that's gonna end this tutorial off thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys were able to follow through i'm not the best at explaining things but i hope that i was able to pull through for you guys and ex and explain this well just look at the final jersey swap you go like bam to bam and it looks pretty good in my opinion so yeah guys thank you guys for watching stay active on my page uh my dms are always open so if you have any questions just hit me up with a message and until next time that's relics out